Hey, what's going on? Everybody, James here, your APX audio file. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Uh, if you watched the video of the uh, ABX La Dolce Audio uh, baffle, the tall one with the uh, slot loaded bass driver, 15,000 views on that video. If you have not seen it, get over there and check it out. Uh, but today we are going to be talking about the next iteration of the ABX audio file in partnership with La Dolce Audio uh, Baffle, which is right here. We went uh, something a little bit thicker, a little bit more wife acceptance factor. We tightened the form factor up a little bit. We're going to be doing some amazing things with this baffle. You are going to want to stay tuned and catch this for sure. All right, so if you guys did not know, we are the world's only 100% nonprofit charity reviewer. Uh, we review audio stereo gear. We build speakers, do crazy stuff like these open baffles. Uh, we review all kinds of stuff. Uh, and 100% of the proceeds that we generate from YouTube, Patreon, our Discord, everything, get all the links down below. Uh, and our awesome new website, 100% of that revenue, I don't keep a penny, uh, goes directly to youth musical programs. We donate every couple months. Kind of the money that we make gets donated to a uh, youth musical program that our community chooses. So, um, welcome. Glad to have you here. Hit the links. Be part of the work. All right. So today we're going to talk about the ABX audio file uh, in partnership with La Dolce Audio uh, version 2.0 baffle. You can see it right here. Uh, I know you guys caught the last video we did on that massive four foot high by two foot wide baffle that was just absolutely mind boggling. Uh, the quality that we got out of that thing for, uh, you know, sub $1,000 uh, speaker that just crushed anything we heard, you know, or, or, or at least met or exceeded uh, anything we heard at 10,000 or, or more. So it, it was pretty popular. Uh, I think we've got something like 15K views on that video now. But um, so the, the next baffle that we really wanted to do, I'm going to kind of show you guys here. Uh, this is kind of our second iteration of the ABX uh, La Dolce Audio baffle. We learned a few things from the first one. We wanted to kind of tighten things up, maybe get a little bit more wife acceptance factor out of this thing. Um, and it really didn't sound as good. And so we kind of went back to the drawing board and thought, okay, well, what's the deal here? Well, obviously, we're missing a bass driver in this version. Um, you know, so we were kind of heavily choking that La Dolce Audio 15-inch uh, driver, uh, really having to kind of push that tweeter to shine through. Um, I think due to the lack of the... Uh, one thing that I did different on these is we did not... Um, <coughs> excuse me, bevel or flare uh, the driver hole. It's just straight. And with that inch and a half thick butcher block... Um, I think we were just kind of closing that sound up a little bit, and we were we were causing some issues there. And it sounded great, but it just wasn't, um, you know, that that audiophile level of great that we had from the uh, the ABX LDA uh, version 1.0. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to move on with this project, uh, and we have decided to do some really cool things. You guys are going to want to stay tuned for. Uh, we are going to be beveling. Uh, the speaker hole probably about 45 degrees making a really really nice waveguide maybe even wider uh, to really help that dispersion uh, take place and, and really help emphasize that waveguide that we get from using that coaxial compression horn tweeter on the back of the of the coaxial driver not coaxial <laughs> the, the compression horn tweeter on the back of the coaxial driver uh, and kind of using that uh, driver, that 15-inch driver as a waveguide for that tweeter, kind of making it a horn. Uh, and we want to extend that in that baffle face to really follow that flare uh, so that we're not closing things up and kind of making some funky stuff happen when that sound kind of hits that edge. Uh, so we're going to be flaring this baffle. The other thing that we've decided to do, I'm going to walk you through, get guys through right here. Um, you can see we just have the standard base on this one. It's the same base that we used for the other um, 
uh, baffle. Uh, there you can see the driver there that we're we're gonna we're gonna be going with the new La Dolce Audio uh, 15 inch coaxial driver that Terry, the owner of La Dolce Audio, got with Eminence and kind of put this thing together and designed it. Uh, it's gonna be a full cast uh, basket this time, much more rigid, a much more robust speaker. It's gonna have some better performance and and measurements and stuff. So we're excited. We got those. Um, just getting wrapped up with Eminence right now, uh, and we should have them in a couple weeks. Uh, if you were in our Discord and you were part of the uh, group buy in the beginning, uh, you may be getting a set of them. Uh, if not, once the group buy gets all shipped out and that gets wrapped up, uh, they will be become available on uh, on the La Dolce Audio website. Uh, but that probably be a little bit down the road. So you can see here we've got our inch and a half thick baffle. Uh, simple butcher block we got from uh, Home Depot, uh, but we did not flare the edge. You can see we're messing with uh, you know values and chokes and caps. We do a simple crossover in these things. Uh, it's literally just a cap on the tweeter, uh, a choke on the woofer, uh, and we just mess with those values to kind of dial things in. But one of the things that we found with this guy here um, was that we were really kind of lacking that base that we got from the first uh, baffle by putting that big 18-inch slot-loaded uh, base driver in there and really putting a nice choke on it and, and building a really nice crossover array, uh, which will be the next video. I'm going to go over the crossover. You can see it right here. Uh, I'll kind of show you guys what we did there and what our thoughts were. We're going to do the similar thing here, uh, but we are going to be adding... Um, a base driver to this baffle and we're going to do it a little differently here's the here's the uh, measurement of how that baffle kind of turned out you can see we're nice and flat we're following the slope really good we get that nice little bump about 16k just gives us all that nice little detail and clarity uh it, it if you could you could get rid of it with other uh compression drivers and stuff using them as tweeters but uh, we really like that uh, Eminence ASD 101 or 1001. Uh, it's a super, super good tweeter. It really works well with these open baffles and these speakers. We've tried so many different ones, uh, and we really found that that Eminence ASD uh, 1001 is the ticket. But you can see we're rolling off about 60 hertz. Uh, we're just not getting that bass that we want. So what are we going to do? Well, here's the thought. And I don't know the science behind this. This is where I'm kind of the guinea pig for Terry with La Dolce Audio and our Discord. You know, they come up with all these crazy ideas and then I just start building stuff and, and shooting measurements and doing crazy stuff. So uh, this is our thought here. Not that this hasn't been done before. Uh, I'm sure there are many baffles that have used this technology, speakers that have used this technology, kind of like Nelson Pass type thing. Uh, but we are going to add to the bottom of this baffle uh, a 15 inch bass driver uh, and La Dolce Audio is in process right now of working with a company on developing one specifically uh, for our baffles. Uh, it's going to be down firing with a front slot load so we, we like that with that low form factor that smaller uh, baffle that you guys saw. Uh, so we're going to be doing that to this baffle you can see it right here so just vi envision that one sitting on top of kind of a speaker box with a slot load. I think eventually we'll make it full height and kind of make it look all the same on the front but for testing purposes uh, we're going to move forward with this design. Um, and here's some of the other things I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, as we move forward, here's some of the other ways that you could think about, um, you know, slot loading or loading your base driver in order to kind of increase that sensitivity. I think some of the numbers we're getting right now is like 3 dB uh, increase in sensitivity. Uh, and so you really kind of align all these speakers at about 96, 97 dB sensitive. Uh, and it really works really, really well. Uh, here's another idea that you could do kind of the C-shaped slot loads. Uh, you could do just a smaller, say like a 10 inch hole for a for a, um, a 15 inch driver or like a 13 inch hole for like an 18 inch driver, depending on, you know, how large or small that hole is kind of changes how the bass acts and sounds and measures, um, you know, depending on how much you load it or how little you load it. Um, and then here's kind of where I got the idea of the slot load, the ones that I did before that you guys saw. Uh, but I didn't like that vertical look, so I spun it horizontal. Um, and I don't know if there is a tone difference on which way that slot goes. Um, we'll kind of be messing with that as we kind of move forward. But uh, there's just some other ideas on ways that you might be able to, um, you know, kind of slot load some of this stuff. So um, anyway, we are excited to get that going. Uh, there is the 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 
stock kind of base initial baffle that we're going to be working with again it is just an inch and a half butcher block you can get it for a couple hundred bucks at home depot uh, we cut a i don't know it's like a 14 some inch hole uh, for the uh, the new la dolce audio 15 inch coaxial driver that we're going to be getting uh, we're going to be flaring this uh, the front face of this baffle to accommodate for that uh uh, driver and, and coax are in uh, compression tweeter configuration so we're excited to kind of see how that turns out uh, and just stay tuned and uh, you know w watch the progress there will be videos coming out I can guarantee you it's going to be awesome it's going to be fun I appreciate you all being here today uh, I hope you have a fantastic day and do not forget to hit the links below hit that subscribe button uh, we just made YouTube partner so now you can uh, actually join and become a member uh, remember that 100% of those proceeds go to support youth musical programs uh, in the United States, uh, and we are a state-registered nonprofit. So stay tuned. Appreciate y'all being here. Have a great day.